All right, boys, first we're gonna address the elephant in the room, okay? Yes, there's a webcam, all right? I know, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird. Janks don't upload videos of webcams. Listen, crazy update, I needed some gameplay, so I yoinked a couple 20 bombs off the stream from last night, all right? So, gameplay in the background, if you're here for that, couple 20 bombs in this video, I hope you enjoy it. Second, crazy update. That's what this video is. I'm gonna be talking over this gameplay. Uh, I'll probably let the second half of the video play out because the caustic 20 bomb was actually insane. I'll probably let the end of that play out. But anyways, listen, crazy. Season two is shaping up to be insane. We're gonna start from the top and work our way all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go over everything that they've released. These are just leaks, so these aren't like, for sure, for sure, everything that's gonna be here, but these are just little, little tidbits. They're tempting us, boys. They're tempting us, okay? Season two, man, I'm so, I'm so pumped just thinking about it. Okay, listen, as we approach June, we want to give you a heads up on a fun in-game event. Finally, we have an event. Now, this is something that I've been talking about. If you watch the videos, I've mentioned this in so many videos, a ranked mode of some sort, and that's what this event is. They call it the Apex Elite Q, okay? Now, this is great for two separate reactions. Hold on, we're gonna, I'm getting ahead of myself. Apex Elite Q. Test yourself against the best with the Apex Elite Q. Make it to top five in any match to earn your way into a select queue full of other top five winners. Here's the catch. In order to continue playing in the queue, you will have to continue placing in the top five. I'm so, bro, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I've been wanting something like this for so long. Listen, now, if you're not a competitive player and you're not, ex if you're not excited for this, listen, you also have something else to be excited for. If you are a casual player, you don't have to play this mode. What this means is that the sweatier players, the players that are looking for like crazy competition, they're going to be in this mode. And that means that the lobbies for the casual players, the players that are still learning, they're not going to have as many sweat balls in those lobbies. You're not going to run into the white skin, kunai, ret, wraith. You're not going to run into those people, all right? As often, you probably still will, but... So this goes both ways. This helps out the casuals, and it also gives something for the competitive players that want to just grind out. Incredible. Absol I hope that this turns into something permanent. It says it's just a temporary event. We'll see. Hopefully it turns into something permanent because I'm I'm excited for that one. Next, the legendary hunt challenge rewards. Complete a set of limited time challenges. They're adding challenges, boys. Oh my god. Yes. Hell yeah. Double XP weekend. That's neat. Battle pass bonus XP. All right, cool. Legendary hunt store skins every three to four days during the event. We'll have a new legendary hunt themed skin rotating through the in-game store This is great. This is great I know lots of you guys aren't into the microtransactions the cosmetics and stuff But lots of people are and you can look at games like Fortnite. It actually works like you need if you're gonna have Skins in the store you got to rotate it and they've got to be unique and really cool skins, right? Has to be has to be has to be has to be so that's really good, too. Uh, the next dude listen they gave us a sneak peek on the new 301 skin and the new race skin and this shit is dope This is so cool Two additional legendary skins for all battle pass owners players who have the wild frontier battle pass Which is the battle pass that we have now in season one will automatically get the legendary honored prey R301 skin players who reach battle pass level 15 before the end of the event will get the wraith night terror legendary skin Look at this thing Look at her, dude. Oh my god. She looks mad cool. That's a that's a dope skin. That could be one of the coolest skins so far. Oh man. Alright, what do we got next? First details on the season two battle pass. At 10 a.m. on June 8th, we'll be sharing some first details. This is great. So they're giving us little little tidbits. They're teasing us, but there's gonna be more. So that, that's probably the best part, is that they're they're giving us what seems to be a lot of information. But the crazy thing is, is that there's even more to come. This, this And this is a great update already. Like, if there was nothing else added to this, it was just this, this is going to be incredible. Uh, not to mention that there was uh, a Reddit post a couple weeks ago where they, they talked about, uh, you know, uh, uh, point of interest changes on the map which means uh, different changes throughout the map. I I'm pretty sure they talked about uh, changing Market, Thunderdome. I could be wrong. This is a couple weeks ago I read this, but they're going to be making some map changes, which is amazing. That's going to be really cool. What else have we got down here? Time to the Battle Pass. That's good. To level up your Battle Pass, significantly reduced. Three additional legendary skins were added to the reward tracks. Three entirely new content categories. This is great. 
This is great, because that was one of my biggest gripes with the Battle Pass, was that some of the rewards were very underwhelming, such as just random stat trackers and stuff like that. That shouldn't have been in there. So they're getting rid of that. Amazing. Adding more legendary. Oh, and crafting materials. You'll have enough crafting materials to craft your own. So if you want something specific, that's great. Uh, that's perfect. That's what we need right there. What else we got here? Starting in Season 2, you'll be able to complete a mix of daily and weekly challenges. Oh, man. If you miss a few if you miss a few weeks and start late, your weekly challenges will still be around for you when you return. You can complete them all at once. That's great. While we don't want to introduce wacky challenges that drastically warp the way you play the game, these challenges should provide some interesting variation from game to game. That is perfect. That's exactly what I want. And I think that's what the casual audience wants too, right? You, we can't forget that the casual audience makes up the majority. So we can't have nothing crazy, crazy, right? It would be cool to have, for example, like for really, really sweat balls, right? Like 20 kill badge for all characters. You could have a special badge for doing that or something like that. But that's just not realistic, right? The casual audience would never be able to get that. What else do we got down here? We're adding three legendary items to the battle pass. There will now be a legendary item every 25. That's great. So we should have a total of five, I believe. So we'll have one at 25, 50, 75, and 100. And then we should also get one at 110. Oh, it's a reskin. Okay, it's a reskin at 110, which is still cool. So technically four, but you can count at five if you count the one, the one you get at 110. New cosmetic types. No badge or stat tracker rewards on the premium path. Yes, sir. Like I said before, those rewards were super underwhelming. That was one of the biggest gripes with the Season 1 Battle Pass. It was just, it felt like it was a cheap way out. We talked about the crafting materials. Great. Listen, this update so far, just from the little tidbit, that's the entire update. Uh, I, I skipped over a bunch of this little stuff, but bit, for the most part, what I just spoke about is the, leak, or the little tidbits that we got. And between the event... The battle pass, the rewards, the crafting materials, that stuff, fantastic. That is the step in the right direction. I am so excited for, for the Apex Elite queue. That's going to make for some great content. I'm sure you guys would agree. I mean, I could upload videos all day long slaying in just regular lobbies, right? But to me, that's not, it's not enjoyable for me. It is enjoyable, I guess. I can't lie. It's not as enjoyable for me. And I know it's not enjoyable for the casual audience that I'm playing against, right? It's just not fair. So the Apex Elite Q, man, listen, I'm, I'm excited for that. That's going to make for some amazing content. The games are going to be really fun. And like I said before, it's going to free up the regular queue. So, you know, guys that are just getting home from work, legs kicked up on the coffee table, sitting on the couch, drinking a beer, playing Apex at six in the afternoon, right after work, right? Like those guys will be able to chill out and just enjoy their game. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. This is this is such a good move. I'm really curious to know if they're going to make a bunch of hero changes. So I was, I was thinking about this. We always have meta-defining things in every game we play. It doesn't matter what it is. Overwatch, Fortnite, it doesn't matter. There's always a meta, right? And right now, I would say the meta in Apex Legends is a longbow 99. I would say that's meta or a Havoc. I think the Havoc, just point blank period, is absolutely ridiculous. So, it would be cool to see some various, some changes in weapons. Maybe some new weapons added. We don't know anything about that yet. We heard about the L-Star, but that's not for sure, for sure just yet. We'll see what happens with that. But it would be really, really cool to see a bunch of new variations, different changes to weapons, so we can just flip-flop the meta right upside down. And character changes. So we all know that they're only adding one or maybe two characters in season two so one for sure we're gonna see a new character but we don't know if we're gonna see a second if we don't see a second my fear is that the one might not be enough for some people it'll be enough for me I'm, I'm plenty happy with it but I know for you know a lot of people like to complain a lot of people do and I completely understand there's no reason you know I understand it we're at a day of age now where you got games like Fortnite and you know, they're updating their game weekly or bi-weekly, right, at the latest. And they can get away with it because they've been doing it for a long time. And I hate making the comparison between Apex and Fortnite, but it is what it is. I understand that people would want more than one character, but what would be really cool is if they reworked or changed some characters to make it feel like they were new. So rather than making new characters, they could alter or rework or change some characters 
to spice to spicing things up you know what i mean so we could see changes to bloodhound or mirage who are very underwhelming in my in my opinion you know we got mirage he's a great hero i mean his his uh, his bamboozle ability is really cool but that's about it his ultimate is useless and his passive is god awful literally useless the most worthless <laughs> ability in the game by far and then we got Bloodhound 2, who, especially on console, is is very underwhelming. You lose all your frames if you pop his ultimate. And on top of that, I mean, his his tracker ability is cool, but, I mean, they fixed the game audio and whatnot. So, eh, do we really need it? I don't know. It is what it is. But it would be really cool to see some flip-flop changes, some different abilities. Uh, just, like I said, just a rework. Because then it would make the game feel fresh again. And, it you know, people would want to be testing out these new old heroes. So rather than introducing new ones, you got to change with old heroes to make them feel new. And it's kind of like a placebo, right? So, anyways, that's that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is kind of a weird video. I don't usually upload videos like this, but I really wanted to talk about it. I'm going to let the rest of this Caustic game play out. It was, like I said, a 20 bomb of Caustic, and the end was nuts. The end was... I was mind blown that I didn't die. You'll see. I'm not going to spoil it. You're going to like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying, if you guys are stoked for season two, listen, let me know. Are you stoked for season two? Because I am like ecstatic over here, right? All right? Enough. Enough is enough, right? Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the video. Two to lose. Zip lines. I have 400 light ammo. <laughs> Why not? And not just. You know how dogs piss off their territory to claim it's piss on them, brother? Troll, I'm not <laughs> pissing on my enemies. I'm not <laughs> pissing on my enemies, dude. I'm gonna just shoot Dang, them. Bro. I'm not pissing on my enemies. You are the gas daddy. Hell yeah, Tahir. It's probably just gonna be like one noodle hiding in a corner. I hope not. I hope it's a full team, because I'm at 17. It would be sweet. It would be sweet. I'm just getting the expectations low, so in case they're up here. does happen, they'll be like way higher. But... It's a team. Uh, Uno, Two for sure. Dose. Two for sure. Oh, shit. I'm gonna try to push. I'm gonna get their attention that you come from behind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run uh, Not the armor, not the armor on that one. Not the armor on the guy in the corner. Uh, on you, Ratchet. I'm, yeah, uh, I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I'm backing up. I'm healing. Yeah. They're looking for me, but I'm chilling. The one's jumping on me, Jenks. Two like are one. jumping on me. Oh, I thought I pulled yeah, my ult out. Better not. Oh my god, they're gonna die in the gas. I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. Oh, no, they're gonna die in the gas. Perfect. Oh, I didn't reload. This is so scuffed. There you go, there's one. I'm down. Pathfinder, Pathfinder. This is so scuffed. I'm one shot. I'm gonna die here, I think. Oh, she's gonna die. Oh my no! god, that was so she insane. Holy shit. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That was, go. That was, that was that, that, oh my god. How? <laughs> Holy Pardon shit. I gotta watch that back. Pardon.